Mix Robin Gator Pro Texas. Here is a custom design that you're not going to see, probably won't see this anywhere other than Gator Pit. I designed uh, this about five years ago and we produced uh, a couple of them uh, just recently. Um, so this one right here is a pellet smoker and a stick burner all in one cooker. So you have your hopper, 35 pound hopper on this side here, which is the Pellet Pro Smoke Daddy uh, manufactured hopper. You've got your offset square firebox, quarter inch plated square firebox. And it's got some stuff on here because we're actually preparing it to ship. Uh, it does have dial style air intake vents, but they're removed to keep them from getting hit during shipping. They're actually inside the firebox. And there's, of course, you know, your fire grates and all that in there. Grease pan, heat shield, all that's in there. Stainless steel handles, you see some artwork. And ball valve drain, two inch. And of course, your heavy duty commercial casters with foot brakes. Your heavy duty lower storage area, all framed out in two inch angle. Nice 304 brushed stainless steel with the gator etching inside. Gator gauges, dual burn house stacks. Again, Cut grill slash offset stick burner all in one cooker. Um, Texas artwork. Uh, the idea of this is you can cook either way you want depending on what time you have to cook. For example, if I'm going to a ball game or if I'm going fishing or whatever I'm doing for the day and I want to come home and have cooked brisket or pork butt, I would fire up my cut grill, put my meat on set it low and slow and i would be gone for the day when i come back i've got brisket and or pulled pork or both right uh, or you can take it and start off with your stick burner get all that good full log smoke in there right for two three four hours and then let that burn out fire that side up uh, and and let this thing get up to whatever temperature you want to cook at or smoke at and that thing over there will just die out on you and everything is now being fueled by your pellet grill and go to bed right let it cook all night or all day uh, let the pellet hopper finish it out uh, you're going to get all the wood smoke from the offset stick burner that you're going to get on it after several the first few hours anyway right so why stay up all night when you got a pellet hopper over there that can do the job for you for the rest of the night and go to bed uh, you know same thing during the day just again depending on what you're cooking how you want to cook uh, at that moment that, that meets your needs. Um, so much utility on this, man, it's, it's crazy. Uh, I'm actually uh, gonna build one for me, but I'm gonna go with the standard round fire box. Everybody knows I'm a round fire box guy. So I'm gonna have my same cooker, same size. Uh, I may customize it to my own wants uh, and preferences, uh, but it will be this style cooker. It will be the pellet hopper and an offset fire box and uh, it's gonna be my new home pit whenever we get time in the shop that I can that my guys build me one. Uh, been waiting on mine as well, guys, just like my customers. I've been waiting for mine, I don't have it yet. Um, but this is a cool, cool design. I don't know of any other manufacturers that are doing these. Again, I designed this on paper and then I did a CAD file on it, uh, it some five years ago. And I've, this will be the third one out of the shop that we built. Uh, the most recent one I did a video on that was on a pedestal and you'll find a video on my YouTube channel That was the first one and then I did one after that and I got this one and I've got several on order, several of these on order now Again unique um, Man cook either way you want right inside is you know typical gator pit Sliding feet food racks on the lowers. You've got the split upper party gator type rack uh, and of course you've got your heavy-duty 11 gauge grease pan and below that is your heavy duty 11 gauge reinforced heat shield it does have a deflector plate over here and you know, some people are going to say well how do you cook on this when you're doing when you've got these two styles on here right what i would do personally how i would do it is first i'd recommend to whoever's has got one of these or getting one of these is to fire it up and and play with it right see what works best for you me personally i would probably leave the grease pan in there and let that kind of be a heat sink for me as far as making this thing run a little even um, or you could take the grease pan out i think i'm gonna leave mine in and see what it does as far as how even my temperature gets how well the air flows but when you're firing one side up over the other you would simply cut off the opposite side stack 
So in a true offset sense, right? Firebox is here. I got my wood smoking, burning. I would shut that stack off and I would open this stack. Let me step back. That firebox is my, my heat source. That stack would be closed. That stack would be open. So all that heat transfers and drafts out that way. Same on the pellet grill when the, or the pellet hopper. When the pellet hopper is fired up, shut that stack off and open that stack and let everything flow from the center fire pot on out, right? Or you could open it both, right? You see uh, uh, on my videos with my dual stack like this, I'll have both stacks running. So the, the pellet grill is a different animal, right? Because your fire pot's in the middle. So you can run two stacks or one stack on, a, on the pellet hopper when it's running. And you'll see some of my pellet grills, uh, the Texas Edition uh, has a single stack on it opposite the hopper. So you can run it two stacks open or one stack open. And if you're gonna run one stack open, I would just make it the opposite side just because it's just, that's just the way I am. I would treat it like a little offset on this side. But when you're running this side, you definitely wanna shut that stack off and just open that one. That's without a doubt, right? Because it's gonna, it's gonna function just like an offset smoker. With some tuning plates in it, being that heat shield or that grease pan being your tuning plate at that point, right? To help uh, uh, spread that heat out. But that's kind of the idea of it, of how it works. Uh, I think it's a cool deal, cool design. It's a unique design. Again, I don't think anybody out there is making these. I haven't seen anybody with them. Uh, and probably once again, Gator Pit's gonna be the first out there, man. I'm sure these will get knocked off and other people will start building them now that they, they're gonna see this video for sure. Other than we didn't push too hard, but I'm gonna start pushing these now. So you're gonna see this video uh, all over social media now. And as we build more of these, I'm gonna do more videos and I'm gonna get those on social media as well. And once uh, these become popular as other designs I have, have over the years then you're going to start seeing other manufacturers kind of making their own version of this right here right but just no gator pit once again it's the first i always said we lead and the rest follow so i'm rich robin gator pit of texas there's my contact information give me a call hit the subscribe button hit the like button uh that way you get notices hit the notification bell that way as new videos like this come out you will be notified and check them out man uh, Beautiful pit. This customer's gonna be extremely happy when this thing arrives at his house. Uh, like I said, we're getting it ready to ship. Uh, probably have it packaged and ready to ship out tomorrow. But anyway, Rich Robin, what can we do for you? What can we get to do for you? See ya.